Wat Metzinger mij duidelijk wil maken, is dat mijn ervaring van wie ik ben gemakkelijk manipuleerbaar is. Wat ik ervaar als mijzelf, is niet de werkelijkheid, maar een truc van de hersenen. We are having this conversation, mm -hmm. and I have a feeling that I, I, Bas Heine, I'm talking to you. You seem to say in your work that it's that is a kind of trick, that it's a kind of illusion of the self. Well, let us take an example. We see colored objects around us. Our world is full of colors. They are properties of a virtual reality that is running in your head a dynamic virtual reality. Now that model of reality we have in our brain, it says there are objects, they have properties, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there is now, and time is flowing in one direction. The physicists have long told us it's all not true. It's not true, mm -hmm. you know. There are no colors, there are no objects. Ask any physics professor. Um, Time is not unidirectional in the sense we experience it. And then our brain says another thing. They say, it's me. Mm -hmm. There is someone having it. And what I'm saying is that self-consciousness is itself a model. It's an internal model in the brain. And that's one of the most beautiful things about consciousness. We all have the feeling right now we are directly in contact with reality. You have the feeling, you just look at me. It's effortless. It's immediate. You see me. But it's not. It's a model of you and a model of me, but they are transparent. And that is why you get this phenomenology of reality and directness. And that's a fantastic invention of evolution. Imagine you were on your computer desktop and you're moving your mouse pointer around. That's not what's happening in the computer. It's a user surface. The mouse pointer is a self-model. It says, I am here and now, and I can do something. Now, imagine you were on your computer for so long that you would forget that this is a screen. And you would identify not with your arm and your finger, mm. but you would identify with the mouse pointer. That's our situation. Ons geliefde ik is een truc van ons brein. Niks meer en niks minder. 